Okay, so welcome back. We just finished beating the third member of the Grass Club, and we are going to go to Ishihara's house to go deal with our friend here, who's the Grass Club leader. I am Miki. Miki? I don't know how you pronounce that. The Grass Club Master. What? You're looking for me? Oh my, I'm very sorry to keep you waiting. I was doing a little research here. I assume you would like to duel. I only duel at the club. I'm sorry, but could you meet me at the Grass Club? I will head back to the Grass Club and wait for you there. Thank you very much. You are indeed the number one card collector. Alright. Hello. This is Ishara. He loves collecting cards. So... Um... There is an NPC that will tell you when Ishnarno is trading cards, and it's important to pay attention to this NPC because um, she will let you know ahead of time. Oh, and this is a trade here. Uh, I didn't, I didn't real, I didn't mean to do this yet, but that's okay. So you trade an Honest for Violet Plume, and you get a promotional card that you can't get out of any of the packs. And you get this Violet Plume that's po Pokemon Powers Heal. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, remove one damage counted from one of your Pokemon. Eh! This card's mediocre at best. I wouldn't say it's good, I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just eh. Alright, so here we are again. Holding down the B, B button here to faster. I am Mickey Grass Club. Yeah, sure, we'll duel you. She has the Flower Power deck? If I remember correctly. Um, she has no basic Pokemon. Now, what she has is obviously Flower Power. It's going to be um, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Ivysaur, and then your Oddish, Gloom, Violet Plume deck. That's really what it is. Um, that's how the best way I can describe it. There's nothing really else in there besides that. Now I'm pulling out all the energy out of my deck because I don't want to draw into it. And that's where energy search becomes slightly useful because you can simply just do this until you, you know, obviously have enough. And I might actually win the game with only one Charmander on the bench. I hope not because it really doesn't get to show off her strengths, I would like to say. So she has an Oddish. She puts a Leaf Energy on it. Um, I might just win here. I know it's kind of sad, but this is really, really easy when you just play with type weaknesses. She plays Execute, she evolved Dodge in the Gloom, and she uses Poison Powder on my Charmander. Okay, well, he's poisoned and he's gonna die, but I can still knock out your Gloom with... Oh, I don't even have to do that. I can just... Uh, yeah, I scratch first because I got Charmeleon. So when you evolve a Pokemon, I think it gets healed of any status condition. So she's gotten into Executor. Um, poison Powder will always poison you, but it does no damage in return. So I'm going to evolve into Charmeleon here. I'm going to use a potion on him to get him back close to full health. Then I'm going to Bill again. Go into Magmar, and I'm going to Slash, get rid of the Gloom. Get another Fire Energy. Now we only have Exeggutor here. You're using Big Explosion. I take 20 damage for every energy I believe he has. Um, but the problem with that is obviously, you know, you have to have a lot of energy, and she never got the damage. Now I got Flamethrower off. Yeah, I discard one energy, but I'm able to end the game and immediately kill off the Executor. So there's the Charizard. So we got our fifth medal, the Grass Medal. She gives you laboratory packs. These packs are really, really nice because you get the gamblers in them. Probably, I think, in my opinion, the most important card out of the packs. So, since this was really short, I want to show off how powerful her deck can be, but I'm also going to show off um, the Blastoise deck, 
and see if I can just simply purely overpower her before we actually duel. Because um, I would actually like to show off um, how good this deck can be and how bad it can be. So when this deck is good, it is really, really good. When it's bad, it is really bad. And the worst thing that can ever possibly happen to you is almost what happened to me here, which is you get... Um, you get seal and pretty much all water energy. That is the absolute worst thing that can happen in this deck. Um, and it doesn't happen very often because the chances are so low. You know, because obviously when you don't have a basic Pokemon, it simply gets reshuffled um, into the deck and you mulligan, you you know, you know keep mulliganing until you, you know, get something over again. But here she comes, she's coming in with the Hypnosis. I'm probably going to try and retreat Seal soon because I'm going to go into War Turtle. Is what I'm thinking. But I just need a few more cards here. I'm going to get rid of that Grass Energy, don't want that there. Please stop putting me to sleep. Very nice. And now I'm going to go in the Blastoise, and I've pretty much won the game. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on Blastoise. I'm going to play Gambler here. I draw a card. I'm going to go in the Blastoise. I'm going to use Hydro Pump. And that's going to do 60 damage, which is the max, really, on um, Blastoise. So there's not really much he can do, and this is the power of this Water-type deck, and this is why this deck, in my opinion, is possibly the best deck in the game that you could possibly build. Because it's extremely consistent, it's extremely powerful, nothing goes to waste, and if you draw into Gambler, you're automatically guaranteed at least one card draw. If not, you get eight, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to Energy Remove that, Execute. But as you can see, there's nothing she can do. I do too much damage too quickly, and I've already set up my next seal, so when I, if I get a Dugong, I pretty much automatically win. Now, this deck is weak to electric, yes, um, but if I can set up before your electric-type Pokemon, I still win. Um, I know that sounds weird, um, but it does. It is. it's not as consistent. I'll say that as much. So obviously she gets a uh, she gets to roll a die for every single you know one that she gets. Oh look a Squirtle. Oops. Already set up pretty much into War Turtle. All in one turn. Nothing goes to waste. I'm already ready to go. Didn't lose a single Pokemon. Um, that's really the power of the Water Deck that I wanted to show off that I was getting at earlier. Um, it's a really good deck. Um, and I'm probably going to be using it pretty much as my default deck. Um, now, if I remember correctly... I, I, I do! We are going to be facing Ronald! So... After your fifth medal, it doesn't matter which order you go in, you are going to be facing Ronald. Um, and so, with it, I always want to have the water deck ready by the time I face Ronald for the second time, um, simply because Ronald is a very powerful uh, opponent, especially with his Hitmonchans. He almost will always have Hitmonchan. And it's really unfortunate that I didn't get the stun lock on him right away. Um, that just really sucks. And I'm hoping for it here. That's really good, actually. So, because I, I want to have Dugong ready to go. I didn't get the best of hands, but I didn't get the worst of hands. The best of hands obviously would have been that I would have gotten a lot of search, um, a couple bills, um, things like that. And I'm getting the stun lock here, which is really nice. Okay, so he's going to be looking to go for the special punch soon. I'm going to start setting up the other seal.
Very nice. I'm going to energy remove this one. I'm going to play an energy search here, because the less cards I have in the deck, the more consistent my deck gets. I'll play another seal. I'm going to see if I can paralyze him. I do. That's really good. I'm going to retreat next turn into my Dugan. Then go into a War Turtle. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have. That was the wrong order. But that's okay. I can Aurora Beam to hit Monchan out of here at least. And if I, as long as I get a Blastoise, I can technically keep going. Um, but I don't obviously want to deal with it too much. Okay, so he misses both double slaps, which is really, really nice. Because Jinx, Jinx is one of those guys that builds up momentum to kill you off. So, well, let's put a Water Energy on War Turtle. Put another, uh, another Dong, get it ready to go. He throws down a Kangaskhan. Okay, not so great, but... Alright, average. I'll take it. Come on, Pokeball, give me Blastoise. Nope. Not another Water Energy, that's the last thing I need. He's gonna start using Fetch, he's gonna start digging through his deck to find his win condition. Which I think is Dragonite. This version. Okay, he throws down Hitmonlee and attaches a Psychic Energy to Do Duo. He draws a card and ends his turn. Goes into another Dugong here, add another Water Energy. Both of both of my Blastoises must be in the prize pile somewhere. I mean, not to have drawn one of them yet, and after going half of my deck. So he's gonna ki he's gonna the thing about his Hitmonlee is that it can hit any card on the bench. Um, there's my Blastoise. All right, well that's game. Because now I'm all set up to win the game, and there's nothing he can do about it. He knocks out one of my Pokemon, I just come back and just knock him out. Whatever, right? Goes in for the stomp, tries to kill me off. Uh, I'm gonna attach two more water energy to Blastoise before I do the Gambler. So now I draw just eight more cards. I'm gonna put the water energy on Squirtle. I'm gonna throw down an energy removal on that Tauros. Don't want to deal with it. I'm gonna evolve the final seal into the Dugong. That's all three Dugongs, so I'm never gonna play another seal. And I don't really want to mill through my deck too much anymore because I am running low on cards. I only have 16 left. Energy search. I'm gonna grab another water energy. Put it onto another Squirtle here. So this way I can go into another War Turtle and then into Blastoise. There's the second War Turtle. He's gonna most likely uh, try and set up, but it's obviously not gonna work. So, obviously, I've pretty much won. Um, there's not much you, he can do at this point. Um, Gambler's really good if you have more than eight cards in your hand. And you're running out of cards in your deck because you can Gambler. If you get a Tails, that means 12 more cards in your deck, and that means you can possibly live for more longer. Because I think uh, once you obviously you know run out of cards, you lose the duel. So that's where Gambler is also really good. So if you have more than eight cards in your deck hand, well, guess what? You know you can put it. You can essentially put 12 cards into your deck. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of leeway and a lot of value out of that card. So we beat Ronald fairly easily, and if you do, you get the promotional's Super Energy Retrieval. The Super Energy Retrieval he brings back energies in your discard pile. Eh, you don't really need it except for maybe the Charizard deck. That's the only one I can think of. Okay. I'm gonna save here, and next time on Pokemon Trading Card Game, we've gone basically through the majority of clubs that we needed to, now there are only a few more left in which we haven't hit, which are 
the science club, the fighting club, the psychic club, um, are pretty much the only ones left. And, but before we do any of those, I'm gonna go around real quick. A, gonna collect the mail, and then I'm gonna go and then talk to all the side characters. Because all these side characters always have so much to do um, in the halls, besides, you know, obviously what we're gonna go through later. Um, because you're gonna get a lot of value out of some things. Things to note, uh, make sure you have your decks pretty much built at this point. Um, you really don't want to be because there's a there's a there will be a point where you have to give up all of your energy, um, if I remember correctly. And if you do, and you and you want to build a deck and you don't have that type type of energy card, it's gonna get really really difficult really really quickly. So until next time, I'll uh, see you then.